you are turned on to Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping you enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rapala, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Low Fast Fuel Transfer Systems, and Cannon Downriggers. This week on Midwest Outdoors, we celebrate the reopening of the Canada border with a short film from our friends at Catch and Relief. Join Pete Mayna and Jesse Baker as they chase muskies and take in the incredible scenery of Ontario's sunset country. It's a special episode that starts right here, right now. Not a lot of people go back this way. And then this is just also trout water in here, so it's deep. There's a couple walleye reefs that I marked, a couple rocks that we'll fish. And then uh, depending on how that goes, we might even go back through the narrows to slender. So I raised some really nice fish in there that oh. I'd like to see in the boat. See, this is the great thing about musky fishing. It actually sucks the vast majority of the time, but we get to just talk about it yeah, when yeah. the sightings, yeah. the lures, yeah. the, you know, nobody else does that. No. <laughs> Quite <No. like. laughs> All right, well, let's go fishing. What do we think? Pipestone Lake, Cedar Island Lodge, Jessie Baker, the infamous musky addict. Now look at her, she's got a file, she's got a lure, and look at this, I love it. Women with buckets of lures, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's go catch a muskie, shall we? Complicated story of how I became a muskie addict, but I caught my first muskie actually when I was seven on a hand-picked worm from the garden and a chartreuse jig in a paddle boat. I kind of do it all here. I guide for the most part. That's what I want to be doing. The spots I'm choosing today are based on where I've seen fish the last couple of weeks, but also the wind coming out of the south today, I knew it would be pounding into the shorelines up here, so that's why I picked fishing south. I'm actually gonna fish this weed bed because I've seen a big fish here, but also I feel like I do better on weed beds when it's calm, and in here, we're tucked out of the wind, so. I haven't, uh, weed is not a big structure up here. We don't have a ton of weeds. It's mainly rocks and stuff. So the, the few weed patches we do have are really good. So I try to hit them a little bit, but I'm also just saving the main water stuff for when the wind picks up again. I feel like a lot of fish come into this bay and don't go out. Like there's a lot of bait source in here. It's deep out in the middle. Uh, there's weeds, there's a few rock humps, a few channels where water comes, streams where water's come in, so. Yeah, this is a neat area. Yeah, this, is, this area almost doesn't even look like it's part of the lake. Kind of like a different feel in here, really high rock cliffs and stuff. Fish, but it's not a muskie. Maybe it is a, I hope it's, oh, no, it's, it's a little musky. A little musky lunge. Oh. I gotta be easy on you, buddy. Sorry about that. Man, I set the hook like I thought you were the 45 incher. Oh, you are a pretty little guy. I don't know, is that is that good news or? Yeah, it means we have a good uh, reproduction <laughs> system. He is a musky. See ya, buddy. Boy, he's out of there. Did not like the looks of me at all. I guess I can't blame him. Yeah, I felt bad. I was a little hard on him after you raised that nice one. I thought maybe it was him. If I would have known he was a baby muskie, I wouldn't have yanked on him like that. I, I think it was another small muskie. I'm not positive, but... That's the hard thing about these things is because the, the hooks are right there. 
most times fish hit it like this, yeah. but if they do end up just going after the tail. Oh well, moving on. <laughs> well, the good news is you can smile because I saw it quite well. Well, I just tried this extremely ugly lure, Mr. Burbot, who has a whisker, and uh, working it pretty deep. Did two complete figure eights, nothing there, still had it in the water, tail wiggling, and then there was this actually real nice fish, about a 46 incher, with a scar on his back, so I know if we see him again or catch him, we will definitely recognize it. Come right off that point? Or a little just, beyond it. Yeah. But just the way it all occurred, I'm I'm kind of thinking he was just suspended out here. Could have followed in, but I sure didn't see him. I... No, it actually, it actually felt really good. I actually wanted to get up early. I was planning on three, and I begged Jessie over and over and over again. Last night, and she said, no, you know, we got to be reasonable. We got long days. And let's wait. We don't want to get out in the dark. I didn't even have coffee this morning. Oh. I'm running on pure joy today. Oh. I did raise a pretty decent fish that I was excited about, but she was just doing a lot of mouthing at it, so maybe tonight we could go back on her if she's ready to eat. But the major's coming up in like the next hour, and then it's gonna peak at noon, which I'm hoping is gonna be good even though it's really hot and sunny today. But we're fishing a new part of the lake, so a lot of deeper rocks, um, bigger pieces of structure, so the fish could be just sitting on the outside of them in the hot weather. So we got a third musketeer now. He's a little bit special to me. He's special in general, but more special to me. This is my boyfriend, Doug Wagner. But more importantly, he's a fishing guide on Green Bay. So welcome to Pete's boat. Got one. Yeah, there you go. Oh, pike fudge. A little nicer That's pike, a at least. That one. Get the belly on this. Just had lunch on the major. Yeah, he's been eating that one. There we go. A little fat, chunky monkey. Yeah. Just ate, but wanted that suet bad. <laughs> Dog really hasn't taken the, you know, he was commenting that there were several demands a little while ago. One of them was, you, Doug, are supposed to catch a fish. Yeah. yeah. Go here, go there. Doug, you catch a fish. It's a muskie. Is it? <laughs> little muskie. Oh, just a little guy. Yeah. <laughs> But it's a musky. You told him to catch a musky. I caught a musky, Jess. Where, you, where do you want me to start? <laughs> we can start small. Oh, we, wow. We can get bigger. Can always get bigger. God, you just horsed that thing right in, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I you thought not pike. stand a chance. Don't hook yourself. Wow. There we go. Look at that guy. It's only the beginning, day two. How's it feel? It feels good. Let him go, let him go. All right. I think he's going to be okay. I think he's going to be fine. <laughs> All right, we're on a feeding window. We got to go. <laughs> no supper tonight. We got to keep fishing. That's the way it goes. <laughs> Thank you.
There it is, head first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip her around and pull her right to you, okay? Oh. Nicely done. Nice job, Nicely Jess. Nicely done. <laughs> nice. nice. Nice spot, Jess. See, baby steps, we're getting bigger. We're getting yeah, bigger, yeah. That's right. Next one's gonna be just, just we're donkey. baby step. It's hard to tell what they look like in someone else's net. Yeah. You look at them, it's like, oh. No, that's not a 40. <laughs> Well, we're still moving up. Yeah. It's bigger than the last one. Okay, squirrely. Something yeah, not. Oh, look at the not jaw. Happy. Pretty little fish. Yeah. Bucktail way out, way out on the cast. Well, like we said, baby steps. Oh, yeah. And they're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Oh, and she wants to go. My thoughts on today are it was a little bit slower than I was expecting. Our third guy here put two fish in the boat, so maybe uh, tomorrow's the day, the new moon. Yeah, but I think today was just tough being post-frontal like yesterday. Really least, sunny. It was, yeah, I mean, we had the clouds early and then all this high pressure came in and that definitely didn't help the bite. Especially in clear water, a lot of these Canadian fish seem to take like a recovery day. And, the and tomorrow, tomorrow it's going to get warm again, so we yeah. might get a bite window again tomorrow. And the fish we did see today weren't moving very fast, so. Or big. But we still put two in the boat. We're getting bigger, and that's all that matters. Today we're gonna go to a spot that Doug really wants to go to in James Bay. It's like um, three reefs, three reefs in a row. Uh, it's a huge piece of structure, so it'll take us a while to fish. And then we'll probably go back on some spots we've already hit. And uh, hopefully catch a big one. Now that's definitely a plan. I, I can go along with 40s that. 40s in the mornings, 50s in the afternoon. I can get with that. Who do you follow? Oh, he's still coming. There. Nice. Oh. Oh. No. She was so lazy, I had to hold it out a little longer than I wanted to. Bummer. I didn't think she was going to go, so I went real slow and I hung it a little longer than I normally would. It looked like that's what it was going to take to get it to eat. and Just didn't get hooks right on our major. Yeah, it was kind of right on time. That was really, really fun to watch. I really can't beat waking up here every single day. Um, the view out my window is pretty awesome. The scenery is incredible. It's not that far from the border, which is another really cool thing for Americans that come up to see us. But we have a lot of different species. Um, obviously, we're just fishing muskies right now, which is my favorite. But you can get on a really awesome lake trout bite, especially in September when they're just about to spawn. Um, I'd say springtime, walleyes are good when they're just off their spawn. And uh, the bass, too, when they're on their beds, that's really fun. But my favorite time of year to come up here is September. Um, the mosquitoes won't eat you alive. And the weather's beautiful. It's still really nice, but it cools off at night. It's not so hot like we're experiencing today. But yeah. The spot we're going to has yeah. got to be the We We raised four fish in this small island. The island with two reefs, or one point, two points, and a reef off of it. It's a beautiful spot. But you know what? We're just going in humble because we've talked about these fish that we haven't seen. So, never seen a fish there. We're just going to a new spot. Yeah. New spot. Here. Oh, what? That looks like the right thing. 
Atta girl, Jesse. That is a muscalongo. That is a Look big chunker. I think you knocked him out with your hooks at Jess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Now he woke up. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. Nice job, <laughs> Jess. Good fish. Ah, I love to see that. See, Matt, this is what we would call a window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you get these feeding windows, you know, we've always been fishing super hard today, super long, but uh, only seen a little bit of activity. We went in for dinner, came back out. We fished three spots, and this is our fourth encounter. Yeah, I was going to say, this is four now. Yeah. yeah. So it just shows that in the flip of a switch, you can go from a zero to a hero. Oh. God, that hammered it. He always hammers. Good switch. thing we fished down there, hey? Because we weren't gonna. Yeah, we weren't. We weren't going to, so our plan was well, we saw those fish, because we wanted to fish that bay. But then I didn't want I didn't want to move yet. Because we're gonna come back on the bigger ones that are here. I didn't want Pete to start the engine yet, so we just continued to fish down the shoreline, get into this next little bay with timber in it. And uh, we hooked up. That's a mess. You deal with oh, it. Oh, it's such a beautiful mess. Oh, Boy, look at that tail. Oh, we can fix that. Yeah. yeah. God, whoever bought you this bait just has a genius. That was a Christmas present from Doug. <laughs> there we go. That's a little more like. How does it feel? Oh, it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> it feels really good. It feels like a good start to the night because now I'm thinking that we have a really good chance to get some more. We were definitely in a window, and the one that Jess just set up was uh, considerably bigger, bigger than this one. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that is true. Well, it's a beautiful evening here on a beautiful lake with tremendous company. We've had a wonderful time, real close call on a big fish about a 47, 48 inch fish that Jesse had. So it was neat to see that and it's just amazing, you know, with this calm, you'd always like to have a little wave action, but to watch some of these things happen in this crystal clear water and to be able to, unfortunately he wasn't hooked, but to watch that fish swim down, you can literally see it going down about 14 feet. But uh, tremendous time, tremendous people, great place here. One of the prettiest lakes on the shield. I'm sad it's over. But actually, I think tonight, well, tonight was for sure the most action we've seen in the least amount of time. Finally put one in the boat. Yeah, well, tonight just showed like how special this lake can be and just musky fishing in general, how you're one cast away from you know, your trip being made here. Those two fish that Jess had up were both really nice fish. And what we really came here for but I mean, it just goes to show we moved four really nice fish in about a 45 minute window. And you never know when that window is gonna pop up. Tonight it was even quite a ways ahead of our major with moonset. Which means it could get dark soon and the camera will go dim, but we might still catch a fish. <laughs> Pete. Pete, man, you left a day too early. Third spot. We've only been out for like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, half hour maybe. And this chunky monkey came to visit. And she was wishing we were here. All right, here she is. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's so fat. Smoked musky stagger, frenzy stagger on a new spot, well, old spot, but we were just turning the corner, so I think Pete left a day too soon. But we have more to catch, so let's go. Let's do it. <sighs> Look at that back, imagine this thing when she's 50. Oh, 